I uh, lost uh, half my bees last winter. Actually, they all made it if it wasn't for that super cold spell at the end of March. So uh, today is uh, what's today? November third. They're pretty active. Still give them water. And uh, I thought about a lot of different ways on how I may uh, insulate these uh, beehives this year. And this is what I came up with. For the small ones, I got vents on each end. Right here. These unscrew. And I just took it out of scrap plywood. I had to buy new plywood for one, but this is scrap plywood. And I made it so their uh, hole wasn't exactly where it was on the hive. So the air wasn't going to be blowing right from outside into there. So you can see the holes are misaligned and the bees will still be able to get out on this bottom ledge. There's two inches right here. And I've got one inch foam uh, insulation on each corner. So there's the inside of that one. Then I just got these plumbing fixtures uh, and glued those in. I'm going to put another coat of glue on tonight. So these go over the small hives, those. And then here's one for the big hive. And I did the same thing uh, with offsetting the holes. I got holes in the top the side and then like I said they can come out the bottom and this is the same setup only three story and there's about an inch and a half on every side so there's inch and a half foam on all of these so there's three of them for those three hives so uh, it'll be interesting to see I think this will I'm actually worried about them getting too warm but uh, I'm not gonna put these on for a while and I'll keep you posted how they uh, went these were actually pretty cheap to make I got the plywood for free on these and then this one I had to buy the insulation's $15 for a 4x8 uh, sheet and uh, the plumbing fixtures are like 50 cents each so if this saves my bees for the winter I should be home free